and uh, let's all have a healthy debate with that i would like to call the prime minister for the opening speech here here Uh, am I visual and audible? Hello, am I visual and audible? You're visible and audible. Okay, thank you. Uh, just give me a second. I'll start in three, two, one. Go. Good afternoon, honorable adjudicators and members of the house. Uh, first of all, let us define a few key words present in this motion. Destruction rooms. Destruction rooms are rooms that can be booked to release one's anger and depression by engaging in uh, uh, in engaging activities that destroy certain cheap lands, um, sculptures, etc. Now, first of all, let us move on to the framework. Now, in this motion, now we want to ensure that these individuals uh, are feel uh, are in a safe environment. Therefore. First of all, uh, we are we are going through a certain expense in this uh, situation by providing these uh, these certain uh, things that they can engage in destroying. So therefore, each in, each individual will be charged for a, a certain charge will be uh, uh, allocated from each individual that are in, uh, are going to uh, go for this uh, system, and then. Uh, we would like to also provide a free counseling service as well in the situation. This is quite optional, but we want to include this because we are trying to mitigate uh, mental health here. And mental health is a common problem in, in developed and underdeveloped countries. Uh, it does not matter. And we want to help these individuals. And we, uh, and we are going to include this because we find this is very important and we want to uh, um, ensure that people are, are safe and they want to uh, feel uh, uh, they, that they would, uh, they can uh, engage in a safe environment, and also we would be providing certain um, uh, what do you call protective gear, so that they don't uh, hurt uh, in, an individual, won't hurt himself or uh, herself. Uh, therefore, to in ensure their security uh, uh, in their engaged in this activity. So we as a government have brought up three main arguments. Our first argument being improve mental health. Our second argument being domestic improvement, and our third argument being uh, employee benefit. So moving on to our first argument, improve mental health. Now, mental health, uh, would, this would be analyzed under two main uh, levels of analysis as mental health problems and uh, in turn its effects uh, and how it affects uh, in uh, violence and things as such. So if we take mental health, mental health is a common problem throughout the world, throughout the globe, throughout different countries. And it's it's been persistent throughout the ages. And we as a government see this is a huge problem and we want to find a solution for this. And one of the main things uh, regarding mental health is the fact that people don't want to talk about it. People don't want to talk about their depressions. People don't want to talk about their stress because they feel either embarrassed or they feel that it is something that should be enclosed and uh, enclosed in oneself. And this can build up to a lot of problems and we can build up to a lot of emotional uh, situations that can really cause a lot of uh, trauma and really cause a lot of uh, uh, negative situations for them. So this is why we are providing this system where they can engage in these kind of activities where they can break these things and they can release their anger because bundling up your anger inside your body and keeping it in your mind and stressing on that would increase your depression, increase your mental health. And that can be a huge, huge issue in the future where these people, uh, not just uh, in their family, but uh, their life uh, in their workplace and everything. Therefore, honorable adjudicator, we see the mental health is a huge problem. And if we take mental health, mental health can affect what you do, how you do it. And that can be a huge problem as well because mental health ha has been one of the leading causes for violence and uh, things as such, because uh, when you're depressed, when you're feeling all these negative emotions, you do not, you, you tend to keep them inside yourself and keep it to yourself. You don't speak up even to your loved ones, your spouse, nobody, and you just bundle this up and this can really cause problems. Why? And denied, sir. Uh, and therefore, honorable adjudicator, we are providing the system where they can uh, engage in activities that can really release this uh, anger. And we are providing a counseling service so that they can uh, talk to someone, someone that is experienced, someone that is professional, so that they can get further help for the lo long run. Therefore, honorable adjudicator, we see that mental health is a big problem. We want to address this. And this is our solution. This is our system Do that I? we are providing. Uh, denied, sir. I will answer that after my uh, points. OK, uh, now moving on to. Uh, domestic improvement. We see that a lot of people due to stress and due to uh, depression, they they uh, bring this out into their family life, into their um, life at home. This is a huge problem on a religious because 
we see that family life, your life at home, these things should be somewhere you, that you feel happy and uh, that you feel comfortable in. But if you're feeling stressed and depressed, this can lead to so many uh, problems. This causes a vicious cycle, honorable adjudicator, because we see that certain parents who are depressed or feeling uh, negative emotions can lead to them uh, showing these negative emotions uh, in front of their children and in front of their spouse. And this can cause a bad effect, especially to uh, people uh, uh, their children and such because they might feel abused and they might feel uh, these negative emotions these problems at home can really resonate when they're uh, when they're at school and when they're doing their work and especially uh, it could be it could be either male or female it does not matter they can it starts to resonate in what they do and that can be a huge detrimental issue and we see that that is a huge problem in today's society and we want to address this and this system will provide this support because they can go and uh, act in this, release this tension and go home and they can sit down and talk about these problems. Yes, I will answer that POI, please. Uh, sir, you said that um, you're keeping uh, this anger inside of us than rather going to uh, uh, going to these destructive rooms, keeping this anger not to talk about them. Sir, do you know there are therapies for that, sir? You can talk with them and try to make this anger something which is really good. Do you know there's something called therapies? They, they help you all to... Okay, uh, okay that's enough. Ahead. I'll answer your POI. So, honorable adjudicators, we, we clearly said that we are trying to incorporate counseling sessions as well in this system because we, we know that in the long run, these things are important. And that's why we clearly said that we want to incorporate counseling sessions because we see that people are stressed and this won't solve it uh, immediately. We want to create a long run situation and this can release that tension and they can come to a realization, look at myself look at what I'm doing, look at what sort of situation I am. I'm literally breaking things uh, in a paired room. What am I supposed to do? I need to come out and talk about this. We, will, we are providing this completely free of charge because we think about these people. We think about their mental health. We want to improve their domestic life. We want to improve their uh, life at work. We want to improve their life overall, honorable adjudicator. And therefore we are providing this system. Therefore, I think the honorable speakers, uh, uh, POI was answered. Therefore, Honorable Adjudicate, we as the government believe we have won this motion. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. I would like now like to call Leader of Opposition. Here, here. Can you hear me? Yes, you're audible. Wait for my video. Am I wait, am I visual now? Um yeah, your screen is flipped. Sorry. Um, your screen is fill, flipped. You're oh. visible, but your screen is flipped. Uh, flip. No. Kaden, you have to turn around your camera 180 degree, like three. How can is it clear now? Yeah, yeah that's that's cool. better. Now, now okay. Uh, just give me uh, just give me a. Yeah, no issues. Whenever you're ready. Okay, I'll be starting in three, two, one. Good evening to all. Prior permission from the honorable adjudicators, opposing team members, and my fellow team members. The topic at hand is this house believes that destruction rooms are not helpful for people to maintain their anger and frustration. Uh, I would first move on to my arguments and then I would move on to my rebuttals. Uh, so we have come out with about three arguments and the, the first argument is uh, does this really solve uh, does this really solve the cause of anger then moving on to my second argument when does anger show up 
and then moving on to my third argument the waste of time and anger now i would like to move on to my uh, first argument uh first and foremost i would like to uh, so do you uh, do you think that destruction therapy has any mental health benefits and does it solve the problem uh, does it solve the problem i think the destruction rooms could be helpful for healthy people looking to release their low, uh, uh, release their stress or blow of uh, blow of some stream but uh, steam but i would not go so far as to say that breaking breaking things breaking things in 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 a controlled yeah, environment dinata in a controlled environment is is a form for the is a form for the therapy destruction rooms are uh, destruction rooms are for people who want to let loose while doing something Doing something fun and uh, something uh, different, not not for those who are dealing with mental health, not uh, with the men- mental health problems associated with anger and violence. The last thing people with anger issues need is another outlet to ex to express themselves, their frustration. Frustration has become a glow. Uh, sorry. destruction rooms have become a global phenomenon but they can't they won't solve your anger management issues they won't uh, destruction rooms or so called anger rooms they are stressed out people go to uh, relieve tension by smashing furniture houses and sledge hammers sledge hammers uh, have become a global phenomenon but taking out your frustration on chairs dishes flat flat screen TVs of or uh, fax machines like a, uh, like a character from the 1999 cult classic of his space is not an effective uh, is not an effective form of anger management according to christy rizzo associated uh, associate professor in the department of applied psychology i would like to say that destructing uh, like destroying these dishes smashing fur especially smashing furniture these are uh, imagine people who make these who are cutting the wood who do all these stuff to uh, create they it's a waste of time for them and the people who are making these like this destructive rooms they uh, keep this uh, Uh, furniture is a waste of money for them also. Yeah, why, sir? Denied, sir. And but I, I think that they should go to a therapist without going to these destructive rooms. Moving on to my second argument, uh, some psychologists, some psychologic, uh, psychologists say that expressing anger will only lead to more anger. In your opinion, in your opinion, for blowing off steam in a the uh, burn of steam in a distra- uh, destruction room motivate future aggress- aggression in a less controlled setting like the like a home i don't think that is that smashing objects in a destruction room would necessarily uh, trigger a, a spillover effect causing people to weak have at home but i would avoid experiences in a destruction room that uh, it can be trigger for angry outbursts such as destroying personal items belonging to a partner so like uh, uh, i would uh, first uh, try to one say something in the name of my rebuttal uh, destroying like i said before destroying these things is a waste of money and waste of time for the people who fix these and the people who are doing uh, like the making the furniture and uh, doing those stuff but i think that the, these people they should they should they must concentrate 100% on the free counseling services and uh, and uh, and uh, like I, my second argument was when when does anger show up yes anger can show up in any place it can show up even in the society not only in these in not only in these destruction rooms denied sir and um, and um, 
destruction rooms so i believe that uh, it should it um, that uh, destruction rooms are not helpful but they should go to a to a therapist now i would uh, like to uh, go to my rebuttal uh so the first speaker of the government came out and said that uh, that the government will give out free counseling problems so don't you think that they should concentrate 100% on the free counseling services so uh, so but i now uh, so we have won that point over there and so we have uh, you said that keeping anger instead uh, uh, keeping anger inside instead of going to destruction rooms so without going to destruction rooms so why don't you just let them go to a therapist uh, uh, why don't you just let them go into a therapist instead of going to a destruction room and i believe that they should just go to destruction room uh, sorry to a to a therapist not going to a destruction room and they uh, and they can just visit a therapist and they can uh, they can because it's with the therapist there's more relaxation and all and i think it's time up for me so i would like to conclude my speech and and in over the handing over the speech to the uh, uh, next speaker thank you Thank you, Leader of Opposition. Now, I would like to call Deputy Prime Minister to continue this uh, the side from the court. Here, here. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Good morning, Honorable Judicator and members of the House. Today, I'm going to talk about today as of team's third argument, employee benefits. Who are these employees? they are the people who are paid for their work they are like the backbone of a country when they get stressed they think they are doing their work correct but but they really mess up so when this employee is happy the work will be done but when they are not happy the works are like construction and etc this they it will get like ruined the construction buildings which are built uh, won't be built the way like they are told to build it so this will affect their work duration and etc when people try to control their stress but one day when they have a small argument their anger will burst like a volcano but when they go to this this destruction rooms they'll get to release their anger and be relaxed and when they come out they work as they work before they work very well and and but when this destruction rooms are destroyed the people won't be people won't be happy and they'll get stressed stressed and their whole life will be filled with anger and the anger but people when they get too much Joy. stress yes yes sir denied when people get too much stress they will just they will try to suicide and do and do lots of stuff like that so yes yes sir uh, denied so this will end up in a bad bad society when they do suicides and etc so from Yo, this i like to conclude my speech uh, prime minister is your speech done Yes. yes. Deputy Prime Minister, uh, your speech is done. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Deputy Prime Minister. And I would like to call Deputy Leader of Opposition for their speech. Here, here. Yeah, wait. Give me a minute. That's disturbance. Am I audible? 
Mm, yes, you're audible. Okay, wait. Kim, um, Kim Han, can you uh, set the timer? Uh, I'm visible too. Yes, uh, yes, you're visible. Uh, we'll wait for the timer to reset. Uh, Kim Han? Yeah, thank you. And uh, you can start deputy leader of opposition. Okay. I've started three, two, one. Good afternoon, the honorable judicators and members in the house. Uh, today's uh, motion is this has believes that destructive rooms are helpful for people to maintain their anger and frustration. We as the opposition say that this is wrong. So uh, I would like to elaborate a point to a, a second argument. When does anger show up? Uh, we know that uh, where, with this anger, if you all go to these destructive rooms, these people become, um, they, they become really violent. They become really vicious. They start breaking up stuff and going. If they always come, over here to release the anger, they get used to this. And we don't know in what type of situation this anger might come. Like when you're in an office and suddenly your boss, your boss comes and uh, says that you're fired or something like that for not doing uh, his job properly. Then you just suddenly start a mango hitting your boss or just start scolding, which is really wrong. If these, these violence becomes yeah, by going to these destructive rooms and uh, uh, if you are like going, if rather than going to these destructive rooms, as my first speaker said, uh, go to uh, skip these uh, uh, destructive rooms and go and find a therapist. The, the most of the doctors said, most of the doctors said, do not release your anger in any situation. Uh, so I would uh, start with uh, my arguments, then use my rebuttals. Our third argument is waste of time, money, and energy. Now, um, if you are having a destructive room, you uh, now a person comes and destructs one uh, a little while gone. You go out. You must clean the entire room. And after that, what do you have to do? You have to go back to a shop and buy the stuff. And again, put it's a waste of money going a shopping. You uh, denied. Um, so. Right. If you all are doing this, it's a waste of money. And now uh, think if you are an athlete, for example, if you are an athlete, you you just lost this competition and you go to destructive room and destroy everything. If you all uh, if you all go to this uh, room, um, you waste your energy, you waste your time, and you waste your money for paying for these rooms. See, if you are an athlete, you can rather save this money and buy some. Uh, shoes some running shoes or any other uh, equipment for sports and uh, for time if you are even go to these uh, places you'll just waste some time for no reason rather like breaking stuff rather you can go to find a therapist and third point also you can even energy athletes these sportsmen and sportswomen they need the energy why are you wasting this energy for breaking stuff rather than practicing for a future competition um um so it's really wrong now if you're now if you're a businessman rather than if you lost some big um you if sir. you lost a big amount of money you're going to disrupt it rather than going to destructive room you can just think about it and just give yourself a good solution if you are a university student rather than being fail an exam you can just go and study these books rather than wasting this time money and energy as the opposition, uh, as opposition, we came up with some solutions for this rather than going. We came up uh, with a solution about think about think before you speak. Like uh, if you go and hit a person straight away, you will regret it later. If you go and hit your boss, you regret it. So think at least. And then once you're at least calm, then yeah, express sir. your anger. Like go out uh denied after my points i will uh, take that poi and uh, at least without wasting this time do some exercises and uh, be healthy then wasting this time going to destructive room 
or you can even and don't even hold a grudge hold in this grudge is a another big uh, a big burden you must hold in your mind for this and uh, our other solution we came up was use humor to release this tension that is the most easiest thing anyone can do now uh, if you got fired use a humor you tell a joke that is a very a very good medicine for people um, uh, to release their anger i would take the poi now uh yes sir now uh, you spoke about the fact that people uh, should be going to therapists and uh, talking about the mental health but mental health is something that people t don't talk about and people feel shy about talking about and therefore they do not engage in actually uh, going to therapists and actually engaging in doing something like that yes, so sir. what what is your yes. solution to that you know guys these therapists they make the person express themselves express their anger in a way that does not harm a person or harm something so don't you know that and uh, that's the reason there are saunas and those other stuff um and we we are going to give 100% of free counseling uh, so these people won't have to uh, uh, waste some money we are give uh, free counseling for these people to release their anger in a more harmless way to uh, someone or something so do you want so sir do you want people to be more violent aggressive among with the other other people or other something and um, i would now take my uh, i would take the rebuttals i would move to my rebuttals the first speaker came up about saying mental health improve sir improve mental health doing this destructive room is very wrong anyone can understand you can never improve your mental health um um uh, if you at least you can like improve it you rather make it more harder for you you put a more another burn by destructing something and you can later on you will regret it you will definitely regret it after you come out of a room after you come out of a destructive room you still feel anger the rather like going in if we keep this anger silent and make it more calm way we can live a very good and healthy life and uh, uh the it can even help you reduce your stress with this we believe we have won this debate thank you thank you deputy leader of opposition now i would like to call government whip to continue their case your your Yeah, am I audible and visible? Yes, you are audible and visible. Yes, yeah. Uh, just give me a moment. I need to. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, my my camera is keep moving this way. Hold it. Down. Okay. Uh, I'll be starting in three, two, one. Okay. Good afternoon, members of the house. Uh, now today this debate has been. going off the the point and now i'll be showing you why uh, we as a government have won this debate clearly and how the opposition have totally proved their point wrong okay first of all let me start off by elaborating our arguments once again because the uh, because opposition has clearly misunderstood whatever we said what we meant by mental health is that the reason for all these crimes uh, is is because of anger for example let's take toxic uh, masculinity for example uh, because the males cannot uh, express their emotions all these cases, such as rapes uh, homicides and murder uh, and murder and etc i mean there is so much uh, like crimes going on that we believe that this the the the, the destruction room is the yeah is going to help in this and my first speaker clearly stated in his first speech and we clearly mentioned about the framework uh yeah and then we mentioned about how it's going to help domestically uh, and then the yes 
Um, we mentioned how it's going to help the family life because we believe that family life is really important and it's going to affect the it's, it's going to affect the children and how the children are going to come up in life. Uh, P.O.I. P.O.I. sir. And how the children will face towards P.O.I. sir. Sir, so, like just a second, the, the, the secretary from opposition said that if he has some beef with the boss, uh, like this is this will help him uh, calm. Yeah, it, this will help them calm themselves and uh, not be like uh, like how he exactly told and how it's going to be like a stereotypical drama type boss and employee type. Okay, now without wasting uh, any time, I'll go into the rebuttals. Uh, so um, now the reason we are bringing this is that and uh, is that because mostly people they break these things in their house and which is much dangerous to their physical health as well as the mental health and i don't know you why you're not uh, uh, denied sir a bit later uh, and we brought it up and then like the first speak of the opposition said that uh, it's it's like this uh, like um, it's not harmful and this is, this is not going to work and I, i'll be explaining in a moment yes and um, well uh, the, the first speaker also brought up the point that the destruction room isn't good and he never explained why it isn't good and instead said that it's just use uh, it's just useless uh, okay now he also stated that like express uh, expressing anger can cause you to make different things sir we do admit that expressing anger can be wrong but if you express it in the wrong place it's going to be become like a murder or or whatever crimes i mentioned ab above earlier so we are saying that if you do it in a um in the destruction room it's going to be much better yes and uh now uh, here they also brought up the point about 100% counseling so do you have 100% assurance that the, the the person the client who is being counseled is is going to be uh, is not going to harm the counselor and won't regret it just as you all mentioned it yes uh and um you anyway. uh denied sir a bit later and uh, so like mostly people they go to the gym then going for counseling have you ever noticed that and we are saying once we implement this that people will be going to the destruction room no, for counseling so denied so i said later uh, we will be going for counseling more than uh, we will be going for the destruction room more than counseling and uh, and and we mentioned that we are going to make counseling free after they do it uh, yes so um uh, now we, uh, we 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 stated that that like like the reason we are keeping the destruction room and counseling together and not only 100% counseling is because that as say for example uh, the counselor clearly or literally doesn't know how much you are affected by uh, by your anger so like he obviously is going to like, treat you as an average person and yeah i'm sure you know what an average is like like so it is sort of regular person who has anger but then we are going to keep like sort of like a uh, where the counselor can inspect whatever you're doing in the room and then he can like literally you know analyze what the person is doing and how far the radius of his anger is and and you know can speak a statement that he is going to like um, he he's going to be like once he breaks all those chairs and furnitures he's going to realize am i really this angry did i break so much furnitures and then he is going to realize how angry he is and he will admit that he has some mental problem and consult him himself so this is this is the bitter truth that no one likes to go on to some counselor's place and then consult him for themselves because like obviously literally no one likes it so this is the reason that we want to do it and you are uh, sir so i said bit later sir I need to. I have more. Yeah, and then uh, well, the second speaker, who is who is a, who is a big genius, I must um, you know bring that up. That he is bringing up the uh, the point of cost. So I think that is totally irrelevant for the debate, as we are talking about if this happens and not about the cost. Yeah, yeah. So uh, and so you know, in, uh, addressing the mental health. but they addressing money and i don't know why you're mentioning that and also like 
uh, uh, he also about if, if if the person is an athlete that he can train well and do stuff like that. So I'm saying if he's an athlete and he tries to work hard and you know give out all the anger or the or the the grudge the grudge energy by working out, he isn't getting anywhere. He's just making himself tired and not achieving anything because you're focused on releasing all the gas out while um. What do you mean? Um, while like um, why why nothing's happening to him? Yes, with that I would like to be coming to uh my my crash point, which is which is yeah, improve mental health versus this is really solve uh any co to solve cause of um co uh, cause of um uh, anger uh, anger. So um, we clearly mentioned what this is, and we think that. The, after mentioning all these points that we have clearly won this debate and how uh, 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 we mentioned everything and the opposition failed to explain their argument. With that, I'd like to conclude. Thank you. Thank you, Government Whip. Now I'd like to call Opposition Whip for the speech, you're here. Am I uh, audible and visible? Uh, yes. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll be starting my speech in three, two, one. So the auditors and members of the house, uh, as the opposition beat, I have found three main flash points for you today. And the first flash point is going to be employees. The second flash point is going to be counseling. And the third flash point is going to be society. Okay, so let's move on to the clash points before I show you why VSI opposition have won the debate. So uh, you go on to the clash point of employees, right? So what you see the side government come up and say is they say that employees, I mean, there'll be benefits if employees actually um, go and they engage in these destruction rooms and um, they vent out their anger on the destruction room and they come back. For example, now we bought the argument, I mean, as side opposition, we gave you the example of a boss, which uh, the opposition, I'm sorry, which the government came up and said, no, we are being stereotypical. So members of the house, if they are being stereotypical about bosses, I mean, um, why have a boss? A boss is supposed to, boss has the right to fire you. We are not being stereotypical here. We are being realistic. It's you are the people who are being stereotypical here. So um, with that said and done, now what did we tell you? We told you that, um, that uh, that's actually kind of connected to my third flash point, which uh, is about society. So we came up and uh, my second speaker um, came up and told you that um, Windows anger show up. He brought up the point of Windows anger show up, and um, they basically told you that if you get angry when you're getting fired and you know, uh, fired, uh, if you uh, if you're used to actually venting out your anger of things, then uh, you actually run the risk of venting out the anger on your boss or this vandalizing company property, as stated by my first speaker and second speaker. So um, and. You get the government who comes up and says, uh, "No, um, there is nothing like that," and uh, we actually didn't see a clear cut picture of what they said about employees because um, we basically saw that what, what they were telling is you know that employees go to um, destruction rooms and they have a happy family life which uh, they fail to elaborate so we want the clash point over now moving on to my second clash point about counseling what we mean by counseling uh, is we asked you and we gave you an alternative right so we gave the educators an alternative and the government an alternative saying um, right so um, we don't want destruction rooms. We want you to concentrate 100% on counseling. Now it kind of turned out a bit um, a, a bit false here, a bit falsified here by the side of the government, where they came up and said, you know, people don't like to go and meet counselors, and then they go and they twist and turn the definition of counseling according to their um, their um, their usefulness, and they say no. So we're going to have the counselors monitor the people. So. Um, the adjudicators, I'd like to ask you a question. Um, what if the you know person who is angry actually goes and breaks a camera or something? Then what are you going to do? What if uh, you asked us, you asked the opposition, okay, so what if the person being counseled takes a um, vent his hand on the counselor? We are asking the same question. If you're going to suggest this method of the counselor actually watching him, once the person comes out of the destruction room, a, if he's still angry, once he goes into the destruction room, he's going to assault the employees of the destruction room. B, he's going to assault the council of the, the council who is monitoring him, especially if he knows he's being monitored because no one likes to be monitored unless you're in a federal prison or something. And C, he's destroying property. 
Okay, so I believe we want that clash point on counseling as well. Now moving on to that clash point, which is uh, society. So basically, um, my first speaker came up and asked you, when do you think anger shows up? Do you really think you can uh, solve the issue of anger by uh, going to a destruction group? Do you really think anger is something that has a specific time and place? He basically implied the meaning that no, destruction room is not a good idea because that, I mean, you may look forward to it. It becomes a new sport for you, and you don't, and you don't uh, truly mean what a proper anger management system is. As, um, for example, with the sauna, as my second, as my second speaker pointed out, and uh, for example, as exercising, as my second speaker pointed out as well. So I believe we won that clash point over. Uh, about society. Now, just to move on to some very quick rebuttals brought on by the side um, opposition, uh, by the side government. So, um, members of the House, now they bought all this stuff about criminals, rapes, and stuff like that. Now, how is that exactly related to anger? Because I'm pretty sure you don't go and rape someone just because you're angry. You rape someone because you have an issue in your, uh, because if you have an issue in your mental health, it's related to sexuality. So, if you take the mental health, the entire second argument, it was based on, um, you know, that mental health is argue, is anger. So we believe that is a that's You're entirely right. wrong. Um, I'll tell you after this point. So um, yeah, then we again we go and have um, yeah. So some questions we'd like to like to ask the government is is there exactly a scale you're going to measure anger now, if you're going with your system of the council actually uh, trying to monitor someone and your radius of anger and stuff like that is there really scale for anger and uh, also they mentioned cost is irrelevant members of the house my first speaker and my second speaker board pointed it out to you since you're actually going to do this service free and you're not charging anyone and as your government as the prime minister said you are a, you're, you're paying for this uh, yeah taken yeah, so we clearly stated that uh, the mental health was not regarding um, just anger. We also mentioned depression, stress, which can lead to uh, things like rape and abuse uh, of such. So how? Uh, what are your solutions to this? Yes, uh, so dear Prime Minister, your entire argument, you mentioned that. But your entire argument mental logic is based on the fact that your entire argument of mental health is based on the fact that anger is the main is the main reason of that is the main reason okay so we told you that counseling actually addresses all these reasons of mental health not just anger so because a counselor is for everything you're trying to invest on a, on a room that doesn't solve other issues like depression i mean you're going to put someone who's depressed in that room Really? And how, what's the percentage of people who are who actually go to those rooms? And if you charge the difference, you guys are giving this free. That's the biggest joke we have here. You're not recovering that money. And also, now uh, members of the house, they came up and they uh, we bought out the points about the athletes, right? So let me tell you one thing that my second speech did mention very briefly. So when you fail, there's a reason that the saying failure is a high road for success. There's a reason for that. So if you fail in something, okay, and you control your anger in a proper way, you get motivated to do it better. You get motivated if you, for example, don't pass in something, um, you don't make the time for an athlete tournament or something, you set a target for next year. And that's the reason we tell you, you don't go at home and you don't go to an uh, anger, you don't go to one of these destruction rooms and you don't start breaking things because that's the entirely wrong approach. Uh, that as my first speaker, my second speaker, and my third speaker I told you with our three main arguments, um, which were very briefly, does this actually solve anger issues? And when does anger show up? And the waste of time, um, money, uh, and energy. So I believe um, I ask the side objectors to side with side opposition, proud to oppose. Thank you. Thank you, Opposition Whip. Now, this marks the end of our constructive speeches. Now, I would like to call the side opposition for their reply speech. You are here. Yeah, wait. Give me a minute. Okay, I'll start in three, two, one. The honorable judicators and members in the house, um, we, the opposition, uh, um, came up with three strong arguments which were 
uh, does this really solve anger? When does this anger show up and waste of time, money and energy? The government started, came up uh, and uh, was uh, talking about um, uh, improve mental health the entire time. The first speaker and second speaker was uh, mostly speaking about improve mental health. And the second speaker started and came up with uh, about committing suicide because you're angry, which made no sense. I was don't understand that seriously and uh, we we are uh, for uh, arguments we came up with uh, solutions for this thing instead of going for this uh, destructive rules we got, we came up with about uh, four uh, we came up with five uh, argue uh, we came up with five solutions for not going to these destructive rules and uh, the uh, the office, uh, the government we, uh, de could even repart, uh, rebuttal our arguments uh, properly, and uh, our third speaker uh, correctly proved that uh, improve mental health. Their first argument was uh, wrong, and their second argument and the third argument, he he came up and proved that uh, the about the improve mental health with these. Uh, destructive rules is wrong. Even the second speaker came up uh, with his argument and solutions that this is wrong. The first speaker also came up with his two arguments and told that this is wrong. So we believe that uh, we believe that the government has failed to uh, prove the reason why these destructive rules are useful. We have proved that these destructive rules are not useful at all. At all, and. Um, we believe that we have won this debate. Um, we have won this debate, and um, our solutions were, were like: once you're calm, express your anger, and uh, uh, don't hold a grudge. Use humor to release your tension. Get some exercise. Which the third speaker came up and started saying about uh, saying that uh, we need not tell exercise, and uh, which we were told, and. So we believe that the government has failed to uh, prove this motion and we have won this debate uh, with our three arguments and our four solutions. Um, and uh, the government uh, started talking about uh, you are going to charge a small amount and then you are going to do it for free again, which made no sense. and. Uh, the second speaker uh, came up and told about uh, committing suicide, go, uh, going and uh, killing other people for their anger. And the third speaker came up with, uh, came up and told about uh, people don't like go, doesn't like to go for counseling to release their anger. They don't even know what this counseling means, also. And uh, we, as the opposition, have gave a proper solution, a uh, proper proof. Uh, we have gave a proper solution, and we have proved that we have won this debate. And I would like the adjudicators to side with us. With this, I would like to conclude my speech. Thank you. Thank you for that speech. And I would like to call the side government for their reply speech. Here, here. Okay, uh, am I audible and visible? Uh, yes. So I'll start in three, two, one, go. Good afternoon, honorable adjudicators and members of the house. First of all, let me tell you that the opposition has completely misunderstood what we as government have come here and said, what, what our framework was, and they had taken it and they had completely twisted it into their own benefit. Now, first of all, we clearly came up and said in our framework that we would be charging these individuals for these rooms. And then again, we came up and said that we would be providing a free counseling service on a adjudicator. And we did not bring anything about monitoring people or monitoring what they are doing. We clearly stated that they are going to provide a counseling service, which is optional. You can choose to go to it or not. But the problem here is we clearly stated that people and in society, mental health is something that is not conversed about and is not talked about as openly as we would expect. And their solution was only to go to a therapist or go to some sort of counseling service. 
but the fact is people don't really accept it and people don't really engage in going to something like a counseling service to get their service but in this process we get we get the opportunity for the people to identify that they do have a problem and they can really uh, and even uh, they have that opportunity with them so that they can go and actually engage in this and actually uh, go there because they're already going for this process uh, this uh, destruction room process and they would uh, they could also have that op option is there so that they can actually go and uh, do that and get that actually done and we came up and brought three main arguments being uh, improve mental health uh, domestic improvement and uh, employee benefit now as mental health we clearly showed the uh, the house wh what mental health is we we talked about depression we talked about stress we talked about how this affects the how this affects people and how that affects their uh, life and uh, how that can trigger violence and things as such but the opposition i think took it as a joke and they were mentioning things like uh, you can laugh through it you can laugh through mental health but mental health is not something that you can laugh through it's not something that you can make a joke about and laugh it off it's an actual problem it is a health it's a disorder and therefore honorable judiciary we clearly see that they have completely misunderstood and they did not address our argument they did not address our argument whatsoever therefore we clearly won that argument and they uh, therefore the opposition could not bring anything uh, regarding that argument then we brought out the domestic improvement we showed that how people how their family life is important and they have to build better connection better relationships i mean they're depressed and they're feeling all these emo negative emotions that can really uh, be detrimental for their family life we explained how that happens and we explained because the, this uh, in a framework because we are providing not only these destruction rooms but also counseling service on the sidelines uh, which is completely free of charge they can uh, they can identify what, what their problems they can identify that they have a problem they can go and talk to those people and they can talk to their spouse they can and talk to their children and reduce the problems that occur in these domestic environments there there's so much homicides there's so much uh, 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 child abuse because of these problems that people face and we clearly showed you uh, showed the house how we through this system can improve uh, employ affect your uh, uh, mental health and how that uh, and how people start to work harder and they think they're working harder but they're not really progressing because and that increases their depression and how that really affects their uh, their life we clearly showed these kind of things and the opposition did not address any of those they just brought out things like uh, go to a counseling their solution was just go to a counseling go to therapy and that was their solution and they did not bring any substantial uh, uh, burden of proof to show how uh, they're going to implement this and they brought things like athletes and all of these things but they forgot to understand the fact that every individual needs to have a healthy a mental uh, they have, have healthy uh, mental activities that to actually engage in anything because if your brain is fatty your muscles are fatty you are completely lost there are vulnerable adjudicators we clearly see that the uh, side government has brought you the uh, proper burden of proof and the suitable uh, information regarding this motion and we have clearly showed you the importance of this motion therefore we uh, as a government uh, we as a government are proud to propose this motion thank you Thank you for that speech. This marks the end of this debate. Uh, I would ask the teams to virtually cross, cross over and shake hands. Kiman, we have the time. We have like five, 10 minutes for the OA. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, would you guys like to uh, talk over WhatsApp? Uh, like, what do you guys prefer, Anadi and Rishan? Uh, I was thinking we could just do go if 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 we could make another room on on Zoom itself we could just discuss it there. Yeah. Um. So Giman, I think uh, we can ask everybody else to leave and we uh, they can join back after ten minutes if, right. if that's okay. Right. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, by six forty. Yeah. All right. So, um, like fine by me. Trishil and Anadi. Right. We'll have eight minutes. That's okay. Boys. Uh, yeah. Please come back by six forty. Leave the meeting now and come back by 6.40. Okay, yeah? Yevan and Matteo, could you guys uh, leave the meeting for now and come back by uh, 6.40? Adjudicators are going to have a word.
Yes, I'll join just in a second. I'm. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, Rishal, uh, how do you form uh, from the debate? It. Uh, like the debate was average, uh, but I uh, like. So, uh, are you asking for word for my verdict? I just need one minute to confirm whether. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. sure. Take your time. Trishil Anadi. Have you guys reached a verdict? <clears throat> yeah. Um. Like, I have read mine. I don't know about yeah. these guys. Hi, um. Hi, Rajin. I'm ready with my verdict now. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, are we giving a unanimous vote? I like. I am. Are you comfortable telling your verdict? Yeah, all right. Uh, I have given it to side government. Government, okay. Anadi? Yeah, uh, for me, side opposition takes this. Okay. There's a dissent, I guess. There's a dissent, yeah. Um, so, Rishal, uh, would you mind go, going first for the OA? Uh, so, I'm the dissent will go first. So, yeah, yeah dissent so goes first, that's why. All right, so I'm the recent I'll go first. Cool. Okay. Yeah, for me, it was like the same uh, three to four, uh, a pretty match. Okay, Rishil, what about you? I'd win. Yeah. yeah um, the the MOV the MOV was close for me. Yeah, MOV is close for you. Okay. How has it gone? Uh, like two to one to uh, government? No, it, uh, it it has gone oh, to the opposition on a dissent. Ah, right. Okay. So uh, you gave it to the government, right, Rishil? 
Yeah, I gave it to the government. Right. right. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Giman, if it's all right, we can, um, uh, if it's all right with Anadi and Dushil, we can ask, uh, like, they, they'll join by um, 6.40. That's fine. There's two minutes left. Good. Okay. The guys are waiting in the waiting room. I can let them in. Okay. Um, Anadi and Dushil, are you guys okay with it? I'm perfectly fine with everything. Okay. Yeah, I just need Good. two minutes. I just need two to three minutes to prepare my feedback and I'll be ready. All right. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll wait till then. Anadi, were you, uh, were you, are you tired after edging so much? I heard <laughs> no, 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 not at all, not at all. Given. The thing is, I went to uh, a, a temple with my family, so I just came back from there. Temple? Was, you are a Buddhist? Yeah. yeah. Are you a Buddhist? No, 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 I'm a Brahmin. Ah, so right. We also go to temples. And everything, so. Right. You know, Sri Lanka is like a majority Buddhist country. Buddhist, yeah. Most uh, of our guys are Buddhist. But uh, St. Peter's College is a Catholic school. So some of yeah. them are Catholic. Uh, I also studied from a Catholic school. Oh, right. Yeah. Go, 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 go. go. Okay. So I'll let the guys in. Yeah, uh, just wait for Rishal to be uh, ready. Go. Because he's the yeah. one. Whenever Rishal is ready. Devan, who do you think uh, took away this debt? Uh, I felt I also felt like it was close, but I wasn't like looking at it from a judge's perspective. I I normally yeah. get adjudicators from out, so I have the full freedom to look at them from the coach's perspective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but still, I, if you had to select yeah. one, I also felt like uh, the opposition sort of had. But like, of course, mm -hmm. the thing is, um, I can tell you guys something that uh, this is between us, not with the boys, right? Yeah, yeah. I actually work uh, like work really hard on coming up with these motions, like you know, with mm -hmm. text and constructing mm -hmm. these. And I sort yeah. of expect these guys to uh, address certain points. Yeah. And when that they are like, hitting out on most of the main aspect, I sort of feel a little frustrated. But I have to be understanding their key. Yeah. So. So it happens with us every day. We can understand it. Too. Yeah, exactly. We, are, we also take practices every day. So we are able to understand your situation. Really, these are just kids and they are doing really great. When you see the same thing coming from people of university and college students, you you get much frustrated. <laughs> Yeah, because absolutely. yeah, I can feel that you give like five to six hours of your day just finding out motions that what could be debated upon, what would be the right motion for those people, which would make them think and would make them brainstorm. And then when you listen to a below average debate, you feel like, oh shit, what what was it? Why did I even put so much of effort? Yeah, like sometimes they can't think beyond the fact that this is expensive for the government. Like that's yeah. they get stuck at yeah. that argument most of the times. The same thing happened in the previous debate. They had a lot to talk about when it came about that particular doctor. So I feel that if they had some more knowledge about the laws and everything, they would have come up with those certain points. But yeah, any issues. And even in this debate, the same thing was felt by that the opposition were having many good things to speak about, but the side government decided not to answer any of the points which they were trying to put forth. Yeah, basically now these guys are having an inter-school tournament uh, next month. Yeah. Sri, Sri Lanka okay. school. So uh, mm -hmm. this is like basically a practice for all, all the boys. Mm -hmm. oh. It's great. How did the mooting thing go? Did you all manage any, any teams? No. No, yeah. everybody was busy. Like um, everybody has some other obligations and like I talked to um, Shabnam and Shabnam was like interested, but she said that eventually nobody was free on that date. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, like thing is like we, we are a small country, so we only have about five, six low school for the entire country. So that's about it, people like. Yeah, you told me, yeah, you told me. I completely understand. That's why I'm, uh, I also stopped like te texting her. It was like. She also she might have also thought that who number area types. 
please or does not understand hindi please <laughs> yeah i slightly understand a little bit like i was uh... yeah you you didn't understand hindi okay, okay, okay. no no he does not <laughs> okay okay it, it, uh, i'm just saying that uh, she must be thinking that i gave your reference right um, while texting her that i gave your reference that i got your number from gimhan so she must be thinking ki uh, why you gave her number to me it, it's kind of like i messaged her uh, quite a few times uh, asking yeah. for help what what this mess gimhan has put me in <laughs> kind of yeah thing. exactly ah uh, no 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 like, basically this was the problem like when i was in university now shabnam is there in the same university that i was faculty of law colombo university yeah. so back then there was a little bit of a cold war going on between mooting people and debating people debating yeah you told me that. so mooting people used to consider them to be superior because we are just doing debating been there been there right been there yeah. that's, that's the same, what, same happens every year that's perpetual with the, that, that this thing is perpetual with every country every law school well, don't you think it's like a brown people thing like they try to be superior yeah, yeah. but they do yeah. yeah yeah english debaters are better than like you know in our case singhala debaters or hindi yeah. debaters yeah no 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 we we broke that stereotype this year by uh-huh. conducting and organizing yeah. laliberta all laliberta yeah now now the debating society is on the higher pedestal when yeah. when as compared to the mood court committee of that's nice that's nice. college yeah. the people Even give if... example of the debating society that yeah, you have to be like debating society yeah. to the mood court society so it was a huge achievement for us and the funny thing is we are part of both the committees so <laughs> yeah <laughs> and we are part of both the committees we have to manage both the committees Yeah, yeah that's nice like even the juniors don't really have that apparently so shabnam is mm-hmm. uh, she's a nice girl so that's why i felt like maybe she'll help you all unfortunately like we have yeah she was very sweet to me like she she was very sweet to me no no offense to her just saying that i messaged her quite a few times that's why mm-hmm. right uh, giman if you know someone who's an expert in international law or who has also an experience of mooting or short please let us know because we need judges for the uh, Co- like the mood court competition cool, cool. i'll check with my friends who are like they are practicing lawyers now like i'm yeah the... someone who has an expertise in international yeah. law right. international because our prop is based on international yeah. law that's yeah. right 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 I'll, i'll check and let you know uh, and even if you know some high court or supreme court judge of that particular of sri lanka or court cool. who we I'll, call I'll, I'll talk to them i'll let you know cool, cool. yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. all right yeah. Okay, uh, Rishil, are you uh, ready? Shall I let the guys in? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. All right, cool. Uh, guys, I wanted to uh, like the judges. I wanted to tell something. If I perhaps I should have told you guys this uh, while the boys weren't here, but it's okay. Maybe it will be better if I tell in front of them. Now, uh, since they are young boys, like not like college people like you all, sometimes they take the adjudicating and stuff like verdicts and stuff a little hard. They get hurt and they get depressed and all. Since that this is a closing round and one team will be going to finals and other one. uh we'll have to you know won't be going to finals so uh maybe you all should tell them how to handle a loss and how to not to get carried away with a win right just i'm provided i'm not provided now <laughs> right. we will address that yeah right. cool, we, cool. we have been losing <laughs> wherever we go right yeah we are we have been losing ever since we started <laughs> yeah i have always been the second best guy <laughs> right <laughs> Uh, I think Rishil, if Rishil is ready, he can start. Uh, all the guys are here. Come on. I think they are here. Yes, yes. Wait. Okay. okay. All right. So should I start now? Yeah, I'll drop a message in the uh, school group asking anyone else left to join, so you can proceed. 
All right. <clears throat> okay. So guys, the verdict is side opposition wins on a dissent. I gave it to side government. All right. So when the prime minister comes in and tells me that there is a that there exists a social stigma about mental health and people are not ready to talk about it. What they do is they inherently go ahead and establish need for me. They establish need that mental health is an issue and that mental health needs to be addressed, right? And they provide to me with a model. The, since it's a poli- policy debate, they come and provide to me with a model that, okay, we are just talking about destruction only in the short term because we agree to the fact that therapy is needed in the long term as well. So that makes the burden on side, side opposition a two-way burden. The first burden that the side opposition needs to satisfy for me in order to win this debate is either to tell me that in the short term, either they provide me with an alternative or they provide me with why in the short term necessarily these destructions are going to be ineffective and not going to work at all, right? So the first, the first, the LO comes in and tries to do that exactly. When he comes and tells me that the, uh, these destruction loans have a global phenomenon but won't solve anger issues. The question that I ask myself is why? Why is that necessarily going? Why and how do you go ahead and establish that for me that these instructions would pro- solve the problems? For that, they provide me with one single level of analysis. They come and tell me that these instructions are going to lead to the people become vicious and they're going to people becoming destructive and also and all and all that kind of stuff. But the problem is, I still don't see why is it necessarily harmful when the government engages with that. Right? The government engages with that. They come and tell me that. No, in fact, the propensity of people becoming vicious and destructive is less in our paradigm because in either of the case, they have this benefit of going to destruction room, baking stuff, which is help, helping them venting out this anger. And in the next two or three days, they're going to be necessarily, they're going to be calmed down, right? So that that this becomes a standoff for me. So the, pro, the analysis that opposition provides to me in this particular regard cannot actually stand because the government has already contested that, right? So you have to provide me with another kind of analysis or another kind of reasoning and with the linkage that why these instruction rooms are bad in the short term. Secondly, now, the coming to the fact that you guys, opposition comes and argues about the fact that therapy sessions are costly and the government side cannot actually provide them this free of cost, guys, that's a technicality. Right? I can't actually buy that argument because that's not going to be very impactful in this debate because in such a debate, the government, they have already pointed out to me that this is not something that is very relevant. It is a technicality at the end of the day. And if they are already charging people for the destruction rooms and they're making these therapy sessions uh, altogether free and optional, I see that to an extent, they are satisfying the burden of cost effectiveness as well. So there are primarily two things that I identify in this debate. The first thing was that whether or not the destructive rooms will be better of the therapy sessions will be better in the short term. Because once the opposition is unable to provide to me with any kind of harms that the destructive rooms have with substantial analysis, they go ahead and take upon themselves to part with the counter analysis and the they come and tell me that therapy is something that they propose, laughter sessions, therapy, and that is going to be beneficial. Except the problem is the government proves to me that mental health is not recognized so much. They, since this is a social stigma, what they what they will do when you know destruction uh, when people go to these destruction homes is that they're going to establish a need for those mental health. They're going to help people to recognize that yes, there is some problem with you and that you need to address those problems. So that is why they come and tell me that in the long run, those therapy sessions therapy sessions can work but in the short term in order to address this problem in order to in order for the people to actually know and recognize those problems we need this destruction zooms right and that is how they come and relate to me that as soon as the person is done venting out his anger in that particular room you guys can go uh, go outside and meet a counselor and the counselor in that aspect would be able to you know tell you that there is certain kind of an issue that is existing with you and that you can you should be ideally addressing that the second uh, main argument that I found in this debate was the impact on employees. Hey, guys, even though I didn't really see the necessity of the argument, the opposition comes and tells me that what happens is destruction rooms create a narrative. That narrative is harmful because these employees become vicious, they start breaking stuff, and they might as well go ahead and vent out their anger on their boss on a particular day if the boss goes ahead and um, let's just scold them in front of people. Right. The problem is the government's the government's point that you know the propensity for the venting out is still going to be less because that person has already vented out his anger and he also has someone to something to vent his vent his anger out on is necessarily going to let me to believe that okay uh this point is to an extent has a government edge because if the employee has something to vent his out something to vent out his anger on let's say stuff in the destructive rooms 
he is going to be relatively calmer because the alternative that opposition provided to me therapy sessions needed to be needed a kind of need and you need to tell me why those therapy sessions would be better in the short term than the long term right that is what that is the reason why on a very small mov i have to give this debate to the side government questions please and we can have the questions after uh, all three feedbacks all right yeah guys so you will be having my number as well so you can contact me for any personal feedbacks or constructives and i'll be happy to provide them to you right uh, anadi yeah uh, am i visible and audible yeah perfectly yeah oh, good so i'll start off with my debit pra prati if i give it first would that be a problem I I don't think so. That should be a problem. No, no, no issues, Anadi. You can go oh, ahead. Thank you. So, the uh, as told by Rachel, it was a two-one dissent verdict with Rachel being the dissentee, giving to side government. The other two adjudicators, including chair, gave it to side opposition. And I'll tell you why I felt that the debate falls on the part of side opposition. Now, when you see this very particular motion, the motion says that this has to leave the destruction rooms can are helpful. in uh, in case of are helpful for people to maintain their anger and frustration now uh, when you when you read this particular motion what do you get in mind that since it is help, helpful in some or the other way and destruction rooms are being created and the government plans on to uh, create destruction rooms and bring it in motion or in uh, working in the particular country or in 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 the world or place wherever this particular thing is uh, taking place now you must the burden of proof is to tell me the need of this destruction rooms that how these destruction rooms are going to be helpful for you the side government coming out and saying that since this is this mental health situation and men, mental health problems this is in everything is a social stigma and people do not people make fun of it and do not take it very seriously and people are not really comfortable in talking about it and feel shy when uh, shy to discuss all of this problem with e- either their loved ones counselors uh, people they are close to spouses and everything is something which they give me as an uh, argument and to that Uh, the alternative which they gave is these destruction rooms where people can go out and if they have some uh, anxiety anxiety issues or uh, anger issues depression issues frustration issues issues they can just vent out their anger by throwing things away uh, whacking things out with a baseball bat breaking things and stuff which is kind of promoting violence in a sense now what the side government does not understand here and the side opposition brings in is that hey listen to me if you have some mental health problem if you are anxious if you are depressed if you are frustrated rather than breaking stuff and choosing violence as a sort what you can do is as an alternative is look for the happier side of life look towards the positive side and resort it with some positivity in order to kill the negativity which is being created by anger frustration and depression which for me was the right path to move on now relating to it, to another example or this particular debate now if the side government as destruction rooms is saying that if a person does not know how to debate and he wants to speak uh, rather than helping him in learning debate and making him confident enough for public speaking what the side government chooses for uh, as an alternative is providing him with a silenced room with him being the the only person in that room and and uh, letting him shout as much as possible so that he feels light on the inside and he feels that yes he has spoken something but what the side uh, government did not take out from here is that that is not going to solve his issue of participating in a debate similarly if a person is venting out all his anger all his depre- uh, all his frustration through this sort of violence by breaking things wrecking it out and what he is doing is he is doing it just for that particular uh, hour or so whatever time he is in it after it when he comes out and he starts dealing it with the same people again and again the routine life which he is living everything starts building it building it up again so the impact of short uh, the short the shorter impact of this particular thing is very high but on the on the long run it just becomes an addiction which is 
not going to benefit either of uh, either that person not the people who are who are close to it or nor it is going to remove the root cause or the very source of that particular problem right and this is the same thing which comes from the side opposition to us the side opposition uh, try to show us that how a better life or choosing a better life or opting for a better life of more positivity which allows you to uh, look things from a positive perspective which is which allows you to uh, learn the better or best part of your life uh, is going to help you out and is going to cleanse you from inside is not going to just uh, dust you dust that anger out but is also going to cleanse you from inside and that is why i felt the, the opposition was a bit stronger on this point as they told us everything told us how uh, and also gave us pretty much uh, good alternatives to this particular destruction room thing and told us that this is not the need of the hour as it is not going to uh, make us reach anywhere there is this is some journey which is is not going to land up at a destination so this was which came up from the side opposition and this is why i think the opposition takes this debate away from the side government any questions could be asked either personally or could be asked after the verdict of prachi i guess prachi can take out from uh, take from it Thank you. um yes pretty much everything is um, covered by my um, fellow advocates but i would just like to point out that this is this was a um, average debate for me and i would just give you a general idea that how a debate or a speech works theek hai what is the structure of a debate or a, a rather a speech so when you come here in a debate to give a speech your speech should have these four components first assertion, assertion which means what you are saying second substantiation you have to come here and tell me and explain a little bit about what you are saying i'll i'll explain it uh, to you with an example third you have to give me reasoning for that uh, assertion fourth i want examples for the same right for example if you are coming here and put put uh, putting in front the point uh, point of mental health then you have to tell me uh, if uh, yeah your assertion is mental health then your substantiation uh, would be that how you are relating the mental health with the uh, motion for the debate Sec uh, second why you have chosen this um, like this point point of mental health and then uh, supporting your substantiation i need some of the examples so why i give this debate to side opposition because i uh, feel that whatever uh, assertions they bought they uh, gave me correct substantiation for the same they gave me reasoning for the same and they also provided me with the examples which uh, somehow the side uh, government uh, side government lacked because they came here and they uh, gave me they gave me assertions they gave they gave me a little bit the amount of substantiation but the part that they lacked in majorly lacked in was um, e examples and uh, reasoning so this is the i um, this is the basic structure of any speech that one should follow uh, and one one point i on um, for me also it was a close uh, the mov was very close i gave it to the side opposition because they go out they went out of the way and also provided me with the solution and told me that why this destruction room is not uh, is not the right solution for it and how we can move to alternate solutions for the same problem uh, and they rightly uh, reported almost uh, almost all the points of the side government uh, and these were all the reasons for like according to me uh, that's why i gave it to the side opposition and uh, what uh, gimhan told me to like address here about failures so that's why i gave it a very general feedback because this this is something everybody can incorporate in their speech because uh, these four points were the things that we were told after our first uh, after we uh, finished our first pd and this these points i always remember when i am giving a speech because your a perfect speech that can uh, help you win that round needs to have these four components with you uh, so if and if there's any question i would like to address it now your and you can also contact me on like personal chat on whatsapp
Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I think I should remind the guys also now, this, this is basically, uh, this is not an official tournament. We are getting ready for the inter-school tournament next month and a couple of other upcoming school tournaments. I wanted to uh, arrange this tournament instead of having just general practices because this would be interesting and people would learn more from an in, inside school tournament like this. So it doesn't matter where you win, whether you are first or last in this tournament. Uh, what's important is like taking part in the inter-school tournament and uh, making an impact there. And uh, I wanted to take uh, you guys as adjusts also because then the feedback would be much better. Uh, here, can we uh, can we take a picture for my uh, report? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, just to add on to what Prachi said about uh, failures and everything, guys, literally do not take it as a failure. Take it as an as a learning opportunity rather than because the thing is you are at at the very basic level of debate. You're going to just grow and grow after uh, you leave school. Because when once you enter the college life, you are going to uh, be in a very competitive state. So here, this is your budding age, your budding time to be better in debating. You all are really fortunate enough to have a debating coach with you, like Gemar. Yeah, was like a, I totally agree. Of, of debating in countries like India, where debating is taken really seriously and is very competitive. So if you just listen to him and you follow whatever he says, you're going to be prepared for debating on the international level. That is one thing which you're going to get 